Hey everybody, welcome back to our family pantry. Welcome. Now today, we're gonna learn how to make our family's pomegranate jelly. <laughs> yep, our sons call it Jolly Rancher jelly because it tastes like cherry Jolly Ranchers. Yep. So, come <laughs> along so. with us and I'll show you how we make it. Okay, so here are the ingredients that we're gonna need to make our pomegranate jelly. So I've got four cups of our freshly squeezed um, pomegranate juice from our pomegranates, a package of pectin, some lemon juice, it'd be a quarter cup. Now my neighbor across the street recommended to put in a packet of Kool-Aid and so just kind of for an extra flavor that she said that when her kids were growing up that they wouldn't really eat the pomegranate jelly without it, but with a little packet of Kool-Aid in it that they just loved it. So. We'll try that. We'll try one with and one without, because I've got enough for two batches. And then, of course, sugar. And I think we're gonna be adding about five cups of sugar, but I'll make sure that I have that in the description box below. But that's about it for right now. And then we're gonna go through a process. I've got some jars, and this is my water bath canner that we'll put our jars in once we've filled them. And then this is what I'm gonna do and cook the jelly in. So I've got this strainer and we're gonna strain in the juice because I know I have some seeds in there. So we'll, I'll take you along and show you how to work it. Okay, so I've got our squ fresh squeezed pomegranate juice and I'm just gonna put it through a strainer. And it's a good thing I did because those are all of the seeds. And so now we've got our pure juice in here and I'll show you what that looks like. So there's our juice in there. And then we'll add our sugar and our lemon juice and get cooking. I've got my pot on high heat and now I'm going to add my box of pectin and add that in there. And then I'm going to add a quarter cup of lemon juice. We're gonna let that, I'm gonna stir that and let that come to a full rolling boil. I'm gonna stir in the pectin. All right, we've come to a boil, so now I'm gonna add our five cups of sugar and our Kool-Aid. And then you want this to boil and keep boiling so when you stir it, that it won't be stirred away. The boil won't be stirred away. So we'll just keep boiling that. And then once it comes up to a rolling boil where you can't stir the boil away, you put on your timer for two minutes. just gonna melt down that sugar and then wait for that boil to happen and then I've got my canning jars ready off to the side and they've been um, sterilized I actually sterilized them the jars and the rings in the dishwasher and so those are all ready to go um, you can totally hand wash those but since I was making soup earlier it was just easy to do that 
Okay, we've got our jam with our sugar. So now it's jam. We've got it all up to a rolling boil and I've got my timer set for two minutes. You just wanna keep stirring it so that it doesn't scorch or burn. But you have to be super careful because this is molten hot sugar. All right, my timer's done. And then I'm just gonna turn it off the heat. Just let it settle down just a little bit. I'm gonna remove it from the heat and put it over on the other side of my stove where I've got my jars ready. Okay, I just wanted to show you a couple of old secrets I've learned from some experienced women. Um, in your canning water, you want to put some vinegar in it just to keep the, the jars and everything clean. So a couple of good glugs. And then I'm also going to take and and then I'm also going to take and put some vinegar in a dish. And then I'm gonna use this to dip in with a paper towel and just clean the rims of my jars. And so I'm gonna try to take you along for the process of filling my jars. Okay, I put my jars on a uh, rag or on a dish towel just to kind of insulate the glass so the glass isn't cold on the stone. And then I'm just gonna take my ladle and fill my jar. And I want a half an inch of head space, which that just means a half an inch of room between the top of the jar and the jelly. So that looks good. Oh, sorry. That looks pretty good. That's about a half an inch of headspace. So that's kind of how you want to fill your jars. Now this, I don't have enough to fill a jar um, for a canning jar. And so I'm just gonna put the rest of my jam into this little container and just put it straight into the refrigerator or freezer. Um, and this will just be a good um, 
freezer jam or refrigerator jam. So we'll use this jar first because it won't be processed. And look at that. We can already tell that it's gonna be great jam because it's already has a good texture. Let's take, so my freezer jam one, I'm just gonna put the lid on right now, our refrigerator jam. So we're just gonna put this straight into the refrigerator um, or freezer and we're gonna use that one first. Now these jars, we are gonna end up putting into the water bath canner. And so in a way that I wanna ensure the seals are good, I've got my vinegar in here and I'm just gonna dab it into my paper or paper towel into there. And then I'm going to run it around the lip of the jar. And that's just to cut any grease or sugar or anything that could be on there. Um, to ensure that we've got a good tight seal on our jar. So I'm going to put that on there. And then with see, putting the lid on the jar, you're just going to want to do it finger tight. And these are, jars are super hot. And so I like to um, put my hand on it and then do it tight and then just do it like that. And then I'll show you how I get it into my jar. I have these little canning tongs that fit right here nicely on my canning jar. And let's see if I can take you over there with me. Okay, so I'll come over here in my water bath. The water is not boiling, but it is hot. And so I'm gonna put that in there. And you wanna make sure that your jar lid has about two inches of water covering that. And so we'll just go ahead and fill that up. my jars and they're all in my water bath now normally you could put more jars in here and fill up the space so it's all filled up but this is kind of a small one and this is my only uh, water bath canner and so you got to do what you got to do so we'll come back when this is at a full rolling boil and we're ready to start our time and I'll let you know what how long we're gonna process these jars and something that I wanted to show you is our jam, is our jelly over here. And I want, I'm trying to see if you can see this. This is a really good consistency of jelly. See how it scrapes clean and then it's acting like a jelly without even being processed. And so this is gonna be a great, let's see if we can get it to focus for you. This will be a great jelly. So I think it'll set up and it'll be awesome. 
and it tastes really good too. We'll boil on our jam, our jelly. So I'm just gonna put a lid on that and I'm gonna process that for five minutes um, plus adjusting for your altitude. And so my altitude needs me to adjust to 10 minutes. So we'll see you back in 10 minutes. Already. And then I've just got a hand towel over here that I'm gonna rest each of the jars on. And then I don't tip them or anything. I just keep them straight up and put them over here. Oh, and I've already got a seal on one of them. If you hear that, it's exactly what you want to hear when your jars are sealing. You can see that this one's up a little bit and then that'll come down just like that. And that one's up a little bit. And this one, that one's gonna seal. <laughs> that was that one right there that just sealed. There it went. So I've got all six of my jars sealed and then we'll just let these cool overnight. Um, I like to give them a good amount of time to, to cool and let them do their thing and so then after that, they will be ready to sit on the pantry shelf. And so we'll have a lot of good pomegranate jam. This is great. My son came home and said, oh, this was my favorite. It almost tastes like a Jolly Rancher. And so it's nice and tart, but it also has a really good sweet jam flavor. We hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll give jelly making a try. Because if you don't want to do the water bath canner, you can always do the freezer jam. So we thank you for watching and we hope that you learned something today and we wish you a wonderful day. Thanks so much. See you next time.